Welcome back. So we meeting up with Lester. I don't really remember where we left off. This is a new session, but uh, I think we're getting ready for the heist now. Uh, yeah, we're casing the jewel store. All right, cool. Um, I like this guy. He's such a goofy character. I should kill him. Nah. He looks like Louis C.K. <laughs> kind of. Same body shape. Except this guy uses a cane. And he's not that old. He's <laughs> an old fat freak. An old cretin. I watched a... Uh, old stand-up of Louis C.K. When he had hair. Yeah, when he was young. And it's like, oh, he aged poorly, that guy. Yeah, he talks about it. <laughs> I like that all his bits... Because he writes a new hour every year, and so like he always will have like really relevant shit, and it'll be like about like, hey, I'm this age now, and this is my new problems and stuff, and that, I think that's super cool. His new show is so heady and crazy. I like shit when he, because uh, there's like complete issues, of it. You know, but uh, when he like goes off on a heckler. Hmm. Like, somebody will be talking, like, in a smaller um, the jeweler's event. Is on little somebody will be talking, and be like, can you just shut up? And, uh, be like, well, you're not even funny. And, 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 well, you're a cunt. And he just goes off about that, and he's like, I didn't mean to call... Actually, no, I did mean to call you a cunt. Are you talking about the woman? That's from his TV show. That's fake. Yeah. I saw it. Yeah, he gets a cunt on his TV show. Yeah. Multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills... Well, maybe they I still, I watched a compilation video. Uh, what are you, well, what is that word? Compilation? Yeah. Of course, so it's a different pronunciation. Yeah, an incorrect one. <laughs> compilation, I like that. Mm. There's like a whole bunch of times he's gone off on hecklers. He's told, he told a guy, yeah, he got out, and he doesn't leave. Louis got a new show. It's a traditional like multi-camera sitcom, but he wanted to do a show like that where like you just talk about real shit, and it's just like people like these characters have like really intense lives. It's not a comedy. It's a tra it's a tragedy really. Um, it's just like every there's long pauses and silences on the show, where the characters just sit in the moment and just think and stuff, and it's really cool and feels so strange. I love it. It's called Horace and Pete. Him and Steve Buscemi play okay, brothers who um, own a bar, and they, um, it's their family. It's um, what the fuck? I need images of the interior, not the street. The interior, not the street. Okay. Um, they own a bar that is passed in the, down in their family to um, every okay, like set of brothers or cousins or whatever to a horse and, and a Pete. Cameras. It's like. Uh, this family name like they're always called either Horace or Pete and that's so cool like uh, he did it on his website because he didn't want a network to tell him what to do and he just uses his own money and so he like he went super in debt for it and um, he uh, doesn't matter a show costs a lot of fucking money you gotta pay everybody uh, he went he's like in millions of dollars in debt now and uh, he was on Mark Maron's podcast and they've been friends for years and so he said, uh, he's like, you know, this is, when I heard all this stuff, he's like, this was nothing new for me. He's like, uh, you know, the only thing that's really changed is, um, uh, the amount is different. <laughs> um, he's like, you've always had money troubles. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Just cause he, um, is always, uh, hey, you He's always uh, putting his own money into projects, which is really unwise, um, because the whole point of doing a project is to make a profit, not, you know, lose money. And so, but he just, he made this show because he was like, I want to just, I, I don't want to have someone tell me what to do. And so he's like, with my own money, it's just me, and I can just do it. And yeah, it's a gamble, but it'll be cool. And he's like, if I'm making something for my website, I can make an episode that's like in four hours long or four minutes long. He's like, whatever the hell I want. And so there's like some episodes, like the first episode's like an hour, and then there's one that's like 14 minutes or something. Like it's like the show's all over the place, but it's so fucking cool. I love it. 
And I like what I like about it too is that it's uh, when he released it, it was just like, all right, Horace and Pete is out. Thank you, sir. With no press, and he didn't do any press for it or anything. Okay. And um, he just. Uh, He did, uh, yeah, he, he didn't want anyone to know about the show or have preconceived notions about it, and so he just wanted people to just go in there and think, like, all right, here's a show, I like Louis, you know, this will be cool because it's him. And um, the problem with that, though, is, like, it's hard to get sales on something because each episode's, like, five bucks or something. Um, three bucks? I forget how much. But um, it's hard for someone to, like, put their money into something when they've never heard of it before. And so... What am I taking a picture of? I need to find the... the thing. Oh, there it is. Alarm check, fence check. Alright, cool, yeah. So yeah, I don't think it's getting like a lot of sales right now. It's at least, so that's why it's kind of losing a lot of money, because... No one just takes a gamble on random shit, but I think now it's starting to get some word of mouth action happening, so that's cool. So, it's such a good show. I hope he does some more of it. He basically just got so lucky with the cast too, was just like calling up people and been like, "Hey, would you please be in my show?" And like, like Stevie Shemmy like did a benefit with them or something, and then he was like, "Hey, Boardwalk Empire's ending. What do you, you know, what have you got going on?" He's like, "Nothing. So cool. You want to do this show? Okay." <laughs> Still have to pay him, huh? Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, you, the, but the fact is that he just got like the number one dramatic actor on HBO to be in a series, and you know things like that. Like just because he got lucky, and um, that's amazing. Where I are said we going? Go around the block, not the city. Go around the block, not the city. Oh, okay. I have to get back there. Okay, my phone's telling me there's construction around the corner behind the shop. Let's go there. Uh -huh. okay. Favorite thing that uh, he ever said was on comedians in cars getting coffee is uh, when they're on his boat. Telling the boat story? <laughs> and uh, no, when he's talking about, uh, he talks about dogs. He, he says, you know, dogs, like, they have their own agenda. They're, they have their own plan. They're going to get a drink. They're going to do something. And you say their name, and that's just gone. <laughs> I just love the thought of that, because it's so true. As soon as you say the dog's name, it's whatever they are planning on doing that instant, just it's gone from their mind. It completely derails them. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of crazy to think that. And they're devoted, and they love you. Yeah. In that moment. No humans like that. No. God, no. Let's go all the way to the fucking roof. Oh. Shootout, right? You should be able to super jump up there. The That'd be awesome. Was that this game? Yeah, yeah, you can do a hey, jump. Fence. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's a jump in this. We were playing with the cheats one time. Well, a few times. Not, not recently or anything, but um, just to see what it was like. And, um, San Andreas cheats are more fun. San Andreas cheats are crazy. You can put on like a gimp suit and like punch people into <laughs> space and f have flying cars. And I think you can have flying cars in this too. This one you can't. You can. It's not really super jump. I don't think. I think it's just you have, or maybe it is yeah, super it's jump. Like, it's just not as high as before. No, it's the and, same uh, one. But the and this you can now, turn on zero gravity too, so you yeah. can just all of a sudden start floating away. Yeah. And, but then, when you land, you just die. <laughs> because you can never control your landing. You always land on like, your ass or something. Alright. Come back to where before someone spots you. Alright, go all the way back. Jesus. Is pulling jobs is pretty tough. I like that Lester just gets to hang out in the car while I am like scaling rooftops like the fucking Batman. Use the brains. <laughs> Sick. It's like a that running sequence in Casino Royale. <laughs> 
can I survive this? Well, we're gonna find out. Oh, well, Fuck! You try that. Fuck! Shit. I didn't mean to. I was just gonna look over the edge. Fuck. <laughs> well, next Jeez, time. Um, failed. Hopefully, I only have to just will it spawn me just having to go back to the car. See if you can get up to the roof. All right, I'll do this off camera. The next time I turn about, you will. Uh, we'll be getting back in the car with Lester after returning from that part. <laughs>